Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Well, I made up my decision. It's a quick video. So, I am going to be sending off the Konica TCX and lens, the 40 millimeter F1.8 uh, Hexanon AR lens, as well as the box of manual, you know, the strap. But I'm also going to be giving this person, and I'm actually going to throb their name, and hopefully they don't mind me linking their Instagram. But I'm also going to be giving them. A roll of uh, this is Tri X Pan 320. It's a discontinued Kodak film. It's uh, this you can see this one was supposed to be developed by uh, February 2002. And uh, the reason I'm giving him this, I was talking to him a little bit on Instagram. Uh, his, sorry, his name is Roman Suarez. I uh, appreciate uh, your little story, Roman. Uh, he and I, maybe I'll just, I hope he really don't, I hope he doesn't mind, I didn't even ask him about this. I'm gonna throw a, an image real quick right now. Uh, he sent this, to, or tagged me in this, sent this to me on Instagram. This was an old negative and you know, he kinda has the, the story there in the comment in the last video. But this is a set of negatives he found. Uh, I forget, there was fa of his father as a child, so you know, we're talking a long time, but, you know, a long ways back. And I guess someone was gonna throw them out, and he found them and scanned them, and there's 120 film, uh, hence this kind of square format. And uh, it's just so it's a cool story, and to kind of see that he saved these uh, images, uh, or that image specifically, uh, you know, of his father, and it's like this timeless photo, and he, you know, those memories you'll never get back. I thought it was a really neat story, and uh, so I think it was fitting to give him a role of. Uh, Black and white 120. If you look at his Instagram, he has a lot of black and white work. Uh, he actually has some really cool photos. So uh, he won't be able to use this, obviously, 120 with the TCX, but uh, it's, it seems he uh, shoots some other 35 millimeter black and white film. But I think he'll uh, have something special he could do with this. He has a Holga, and uh, maybe he'll use it with that. I shot a roll of this previously, and uh, maybe I'll throw a couple photos. Uh, I'm not trying to show off what I did with it because I didn't really do anything specific. I got two of these rolls from uh, it was basically a friend of my father-in-law who passed away and he was a photographer for a newspaper in uh, Sonoma, California. If you know wine at all, you've probably heard of it. And uh, he had a bunch of random photo junk that his uh, daughter didn't take. And uh, she took, I think, the more valuable stuff to sell it or something. And uh, in all this random stuff was a couple rolls of this. And I shot one because I wasn't sure how it would come out. And it actually came out pretty good. I exposed it at 100 ISO. You know, I think I was going to do 160, but I think I ended up just doing 100 uh, to kind of give it a lot more exposure because it's old. And it's really sharp, though. Then again, I haven't shot a lot of slower, like 100 ISO black and white film. But uh, it's really sharp. And maybe I'll, th I'll throw up one image right now that this in particular kind of jumped out at me. And I was just surprised how sharp it was. But I didn't have a specific thought to use this, and it's not getting any younger. So uh, hopefully, uh, Roman can make use of it. So I hope you enjoy this, Roman. I will get this uh, boxed up and shipped out to you. And uh, maybe you'll get it uh, next week because you're not too far from uh, where I am out here in Northern California. So uh, enjoy it, and maybe uh, I'll send a couple folks who watch this video to your uh, Instagram. Uh, feed and uh, they can appreciate some of your black and white work as well uh, Thanks, and I appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos commenting uh, You know there are other interesting stories and I liked a lot of the comments about people kind of several people talking about getting back into film And that was the whole point of this channel, you know re rediscovering film and kind of reigniting my interest in photography that I had I don't know kind of lost and died off in the digital age and I still shoot digital now, but the shooting film, you know, you kind of just, it's so, I'm such an enthusiast about it in comparison because, uh, yeah, you get excited to see these uh, negatives back and what the images look like versus digital. You shoot it, you see what you got, you know, it's cool, you post it, and then you're kind of done, you move on. Whereas film, it's, you know, it's more personal. And uh, you guys get it, you know, we're, we're all on the same uh, page there. Uh, so, anyway, uh, thanks. And uh, maybe if we uh, keep growing the channel, I'll uh, find some other camera to give away.
I uh, listen to you guys on my FM3 video, FM3A video and I'm starting to reconsider getting rid of it because I'm shooting a roll through it right now of uh, some Natura 1600 and digging it again. So uh, maybe that was sort of a bad idea, but we'll, we shall see. Alright guys, thanks.